Hello and welcome to Rule of Three's video review for God of War Ascension by Sony Santa Monica, a action hack and slash game. Uh, with me today is Just Impressions. How are you doing? A little under the weather, so I apologize for my voice, but I'm going to try and stick it through. Yeah, that's hopefully we don't go too long. Uh, Sinister will be back next week. Uh, he didn't get home in time to do God of War, so he'll be here for next week's uh, Gears of War uh, review. So, first off, we're going to start off, like always, since this is a series game, our history with the series. Uh, Impressions, why don't you go first? What's your history with that God of War? I actually did play every single one, and I beat every single one, as far as the ones on the main consoles were concerned. I never played any of the handheld, but I played one through three, beat them all. Was majorly pissed off at every single one. <laughs> and, I came, and I came back for more. I, too, have played <clears throat> three only. Um, I never played the PSP ones. I kind of wanted to, but where they weren't... I have troubles with kind of sideline storylines. I'd probably just go through the main story. But anyway, um... If I'm not mistaken, they ported those to the PS3, right? Yeah, they did. There's a... I still didn't bother. Yeah, there's a collection of them now. But anyway, uh, I like 1 through 3. I thought they were really fun. I enjoyed them. I like the, uh... Obviously, I, I like Greek mythology, so I kind of attached to that aspect a little more. And I just... I, I thought they were really well-made games. So with that, we're going to go into the story of uh, Ascension. Ascension is a prequel to the first game. It takes place, obviously, before the first game, during Kratos's I want to be free from Ares, you know, service stage. Um, he's not as angry as in previous games. He still hates everybody, but he's not quite as revengeful and just kratos -y, I guess. There's a reason for that, plot-wise, which I didn't catch on to, but I'm not going to spoil for you guys. Yeah, I'm not going to go into why all that is. I mean, if you play the original game, you know he kills his family, but there's an actual other reason, more reason behind it than that. Uh, so anyway, Kratos then goes off to go kill what are called the Furies, which are Ares' like, lieutenants, right? Like his oath holders. Yeah, basically, in order to break the bond that he had with Ares so that he can continue to do what he does in God of War 1, he needed to do this purse apparently, which we had nothing, we, which we didn't know about at all. So it's just a, a slightly thin excuse for a prequel, but it works. It just, you know, it's just a little hard to kind of grasp considering there was no mention of it whatsoever. Yeah, in the previous ones. Okay, so yeah, that's the basic premise of the game. Like I said, I don't want to <clears throat> give any spoilers away, so I'm just going to end it there. Story-wise, I thought it was kind of crappy. Uh, it wasn't as solid as like one through three. Main, mostly because there wasn't as much conversation or reasoning behind what was going on except for like those few moments where he did have the cutscenes and explained it, but I felt it was just still kind of weak on the whole. Especially Kratos as a character, I mean, they were all saying this is going to be a more emotional Kratos where, you know, he's not quite as angry, but he's, you know, trying to, you know, make up for all his bad, you know, all the things he's done in the past. And instead it was pretty much the same Kratos, just like I said, not as, you know, angry voice. You? Let's just say this game is the reason why Kratos is angrier. That's that's probably. I mean, it's the it'll it seeks to explain that or provide a backstory for why that happens. His transition from you know the Spartan that he was until the into the vengeful murderous Kratos that we know <clears throat> from one through three. So, uh, it's, I think it, I I agree it was a little weak. It had a, it had a few things to stand on, but I think it was you know. It gave me enough incentive. It piqued my interest enough to keep going. Yeah, see, I, I didn't care for this. Like, I almost, I'll tell you right now, I almost <clears throat> stopped playing this game because the storyline just confused me at first because it didn't do a lot of explaining and why I was doing stuff. And also, I, I agree. It, did, yeah. weird. it left a lot in the air, and you really kind of have to play through enough of the story to figure it out. But that also, and the fact that it is a prequel, but also the game plays in flashbacks. Yeah, so, that drove me nuts too. Yeah, I was like, it's already a prequel. You're throwing everything off in the continuum. Now you're suddenly flashing back in the flashback. So um, it, it, it is a bit of a mess. Yeah. All right, so with that, we're going to go into gameplay. On the whole, it's very similar to previous God of War games. You you know, monsters come up and you beat the ever-living crap out of them with your blades and then rip them to shreds and QTE things. However, there have been a few changes to the base combat. For those of you who've played the original God of War, you'll know what I'm talking. If you don't, I'll try to explain it. Is square is attack, try, like your basic light attack, 
Triangle is a heavy attack. Circle is um melee in this one. Yeah, and then X is jump. Uh, melee or circle used to be grab, I think. Yeah, that used to be the old grab. Now it's uh, you can pick up certain weapons off the ground and use that as kind of a side weapon, and that's what the circle does now instead. Which, is, uh, which I do like. I do like that element. Yeah, I did like that. That was actually kind of cool, especially because you had what five, five or six like side weapons you could choose from. For fun. I think. Yeah, I think also a large part is because this is a prequel. They had to give him something, you know, that he could use when he wasn't, you know, when he didn't have some of the powers that you get in God of War One, which were godly powers basically. And you're you're not at that level yet as far as uh you know, well this character this Kratos at least is not at that stage developmentally yet. So they had to find something else to round him out as a fighter. So anyway, so. you chain light and heavy attack. In the old ones, you could chain light and heavy attacks. This one's a little different. We'll get into that in a few seconds. Um, but basic gameplay is untouched. And, you know, it was a, you know other than... Like, well, actually, we'll go into the changes real quick. Uh, one of the biggest changes that you'll notice off the top is the rage bar. The rage bar is a little thing that goes in the corner. And as you beat people up, it fills up. When it's full, you can do super combos and special abilities. The rage bar, in my opinion, was the worst thing they added to this game. I did not like having to fill that bar just to use basic triangle combos. Because in the older ones, you know, I'd do my square, square, triangle, triangle combo. This one, I can't do that unless that bar is filled. Now, most of you are probably going, well, that's not too bad. Just fill the bar. Every time you get hit, it will go down. If you get grabbed, you lose all of it. Yes, if you get grabbed, you lose all of it. Enemies can now break out of some of the com like light combos. If you get them in heavy one, they can. But light combos, they can break out of. And if you're not quick enough or paying attention, you're going to get hit and it goes down. And the problem is is the uh, dodge, which is uh, one of the control sticks, and the block aren't quite as fast Protective. as in the other one. <laughs> they didn't seem to work for that matter. Yeah, I, I, uh, at least block. Block never worked for me. I had to keep yeah. dodging and that was too slow. So the rage bar for me was always, you know, I was lucky if I got it full. So I'm just, I hated the rage bar. I despise it. <laughs> it's that's simple, simply put for me. I hated it. How about you? Yeah, um, I actually was okay with it. I mean, I don't like that they changed it, but I figured out how to work it. Uh, a lot. Uh, I I still feel that the old versions were better. It just seemed like too much of a punishment, really, to lose the entire meter just if you take a couple of hits. <clears throat> take a couple of hits from the enemies. Yeah, um, I'm... and especially if you get grabbed, you lose the whole thing. And I don't know what it was. I, I guess it wasn't just me, but I really did have a hard time evading and blocking, like you did. Yeah, no, I, I either the, the yeah, either the AI was a little more coordinated this time around, or they severely powered down block and dodge. But it just yeah, it, it really sucked. <laughs> so. Yeah. Now the reason the rage bar goes down when you get hit, get hit, is because if you do fill it up, you can do uh, what are called rage attacks. You push both the uh, control uh, analog sticks down. He will do like a super move. L three, R three. Is it L three? L three and R three. R three, yeah, whatever. L three, R three. Yeah. It's the analog stick buttons. Anyway, he'll do a super move that uses his entire rage bar, but depending on the, what you're using, will like devastate enemies pretty much. Either yeah. kill or just maim. Did you did you unlock all of them? Um, I unlocked, we'll get, in, I locked a couple of them. Well, actually, you know, let's go to that now. Rage bar moves are based off of what magic you have. Once again, if you played the previous Gods of War, you get, you know, the gods of Olympus decide to give you magic because they can to help you on your quest. Uh, I can't remember all of them. There's like fire, Well, uh, this is significantly powered down. Uh, what it was in, uh, in, well, the first couple, first one at least. Let's go with the first one. Yeah. What they gave you, like Poseidon's you know, whirlwind, whirlwind, whirlwind thing. Uh, Zeus gave you lightning bolts that you could throw. And, um. Like, Hades always gave you dead people. Yeah, that was it. Uh, yeah, but in this one, what the magic pertained to instead was they would buff up, they would give you, um, they would modify the Blades of Chaos, Kratos' primary weapon. So, it's elements, uh, basically, fire for Ares, lightning for Zeus. Who, uh, ice for Poseidon <clears throat> and um, souls for Hades. So you got the quick, quick fix. It's uh, I think Helios is fire or Apollo. Helios. Is, why would Ares give you bear abilities? You're trying to get away from him. No, it's Ares. You have Ares. Ares? Oh, okay. I thought it was. I don't remember. Anyway, so you still you still have his display. 
and they just they instead of uh, uh, um, receiving the powers from the gods like you do in one, you just modify your spear blade, which is it, it does makes you feel a lot weaker in this one, you know, than you do in on the rest. But that's the whole reason, I guess. That's it's before God of War one, so you're not as strong. Right. And uh, that is reflected very well. If that was their intention. Yeah, if their intention was to make me feel not <coughs> awesome as in God of War, they did a good job of that. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, and then so that's magic. You get that along, and like you said, it modifies your rage bar and gives you magic so, abilities. So, so with that. So no, the, only, the thing is, the only time you could ever use the magic is when you fill the rage bar, which is another source of rage for me. Yeah. That <laughs> basically. Was... I, ha I figured it out. If this is advice then if you guys are man planning to play this game. Um, each type of weapon, each, each modification on the Blades of Chaos gives you a benefit. The basic mode with Ares will let you build the rage, mar rage bar faster. So basically the idea is to fill the rage meter using the Blades of Chaos as they are standard, then switch to the one you want to use and then use the magic then. That's the only way I figured, that's the only way I managed to survive certain rounds. If I did not figure that out, so I did. That's, a bit of, that's a little tip there. Yes. All right. So the next thing I want to go into is what God of War is very, very famous for: quick time events, because yeah, they're yeah. everywhere. Sometimes you don't even see them. Yes. Which <laughs> we'll get into that in a second. So if you played the past ones, or you can have played the past ones. Uh, every time you do, you know, go into a scene, there's usually a quick time event. Even in combat, there's quick time events when you want to finish enemies. Uh, they're just as rampant in this one as they were in the other ones, except now they've added kind of a one where you grapple and you have to just randomly stab and then dodge their attacks. It's basically a, a, a mini game that's engaged by uh, grabbing them. It's, I think they call it tether, tether mode. Yeah, something like you, that. You latch onto them with the string, with the one blade, and then you, you just hack at them. Now, I would have been okay with this if it would have told me what enemies it would do it on and when it was going to do it on certain bosses because once again having played the older ones you know i'm always waiting for the next button to push in some of these cutscenes. what mode did you play it on what difficulty normal okay never mind <laughs> i was gonna say maybe they're like hiding the bar from you because you played a harder difficulty no no i was on normal <laughs> okay never mind go on anyway so i would just be kind of standing there for a few seconds and then like why is nothing happening and then i'd start i just hit square around me stabs like oh it's one of these stupid things and I'd get like three hits in and then knocked off because I just realized that's what it was going on. And it would have been nice to tell me up front, like, just tell me to push, the, like, just keep the score up there so I can just smash it. That would have <laughs> solved all my issues with the this, this system. I don't care if it's not a quick time, just tell me to push square. I would have done it. Instead of me waiting for, you know, the quick time event, which I'm used to in God of War games. I actually did like it. I mean, I think the reason you might not like it as much is because you're still looking at it as a quick time event, which to an extent it is. But what they do call it is a mini game, basically. Uh, instead of you know, telling you what buttons to press, you have to attack and dodge when you think it feels you know appropriate. The you have to watch the animations instead of looking for the button cues, which is counterintuitive to what God of War trains you to do anyway. So I understand your confusion, but I think it was a. It was, I think it. I think it was a good improvement. You know, one of the few good improvements, rather, that this game brought around, anyways. Agree to disagree on that one. So that that's quick time events in this game. Like well, I said, on the whole, it's still got a war. So. We, we can we can agree at least that the epic looking ones still are epic, anyways. You know, oh yeah, they yeah. maintain that spirit. Yes, the boss QTEs are amazing, and yeah, just crazy as always. So the last thing I want to go into is the upgrade system. Once again, if you played previous God of War, it's exactly the same for those who haven't. Uh, as you kill enemies, you accumulate red orbs. You can spend these red orbs on equipping your uh, main weapons or any of your magic or items that you got that you can use. Uh, every time you level those up, you get new abilities. In the cases of like your main weapons, it tends to be new combos and just more damage. And in terms of magic, it's how you do like special magical triangle square attacks. As well as how you actually unlock rage mode and magic for uh, most of them. That is a failure of this game. So for each version of the blades that you get, you have to unlock rage and magic by leveling it up on each one. Except for fire. Yeah, your fire you get on your own. Which is... Now, <clears throat> going back to rage mode and magic with upgrades is... I would have been fine if the tutorial didn't tell me, you know, push these buttons to activate this mode and once you have magic, use this button to use the magic instead of having the figure out how to upgrade for that. I mean, it's a minor beef, because once I figure it out, I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. But it would have been nice to have, you know, a basic magic attack. Rage mode, I would have been okay if I had to buy that. 
but just just give me a basic magic attack, and I, that maybe would have solved a little bit of my issues with upgrading the magic instead yeah, of having good. to unlock it. You got no. You were really powered down with this one. Oh, really? You had no rage attack. Ra you had no range attacks either, actually. Yeah. So that's all. That caused a lot of problems. But I mean, on the whole, the upgrade system still works. The same. Yeah, yeah. No. No. No major changes. It just you had to upgrade more stuff in order to be, actually be a functional warrior. But aside from that, it was fine. Yeah. So I mean, it's a good thing they kept that the way it is because, like I said, people just... So that ends the gameplay portion, and now we're gonna go into multiplayer. If we could, because it required an online pass, and neither of us bought this game. So, yeah, unfortunately we can't comment on multiplayer. From what I've heard, though, this is just from what I've heard, it's kind of bad. But I, I'm not going to get, you know, that's not going to reflect in my final verdict in this game. It's just that's what I've heard. I For those of you that are curious, I think it's the demos on PSN, so try it out. Yeah. Those, are, those are multiplayer demos specifically, so try it out. Yeah, because we, we didn't have time to do play, so we didn't have the online pass to do multiplayer, so like I said, that won't be reflected in our verdicts. But it would have been nice to try it out because this is the first God of War multiplayer. I believe it's co-op multiplayer, isn't it? As well. I'm not sure. I think there's. I uh, I don't know actually. Okay. So anyway, that that's it. So with that, we're going to do our verdicts. For those of you who've never watched a Rule of Three review before, podcasting that we do here, uh, we don't do a number system because numbers are dumb and confuse me sometimes. Instead, we do a buy rent pass system. Buy means we think it's worth whatever the price of the game is on release. It has enough content. It's fun, and is you know it's worthy of you know whatever amount of money they want for it at at the get go. Rent means either rent it or wait for it to go down in price. So, but the game tends to be you know it's still good. It's okay, but you know maybe not worth you know the full price. Uh, pass means it was terrible. And should be launched into orbit into a black into a black hole. Uh, I'm gonna go first. So God of War, I almost actually gave a pass because the beginning of this game infuriated me like no other. It does get better though around the halfway point, so it barely gets up to a rent for me. Just just because a lot of the changes I did not like. The story wasn't was nowhere near as good as the originals, and. That rage bar really made me rage in real life. <laughs> Impressions? I'll give it a, a solid rent. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big enough fan, begrudgingly rather, sometimes of the series as it is. I don't know what it is about God of War, but it seems to find the perfect balance of pissing me off, yet wanting me to keep going, yeah, and intriguing me enough in the story. So it, I, I still think it is worth a play. Uh, definitely not worth the full 60 at release. Wait, uh... Rent it or wait for it to go down if you're you know, a fan of the series. Even if you are a big fan, I think just, you know, I, I still think this falls short of the, the the previous installments. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. All right, so there you go. You have barely passes for me and a solid, or barely, yeah, barely rent for me, barely, or a solid rent from Impressions. Uh, for those of you interested and, you know, don't you've played God of War and you've always wanted them, uh, I believe Sony and GameStop are both doing a, if you buy God of War Ascension, you get all six of them. All six of the previous ones. Wait, what? Yeah, I just found this out today, or, when, well, yeah, whenever, it's not obviously today when it's posted, but when we recorded this, it was today that I found it out. So, now, if you want to get one through three, buy Ascension, because it's the cheapest way you're going to get all of them. Okay, I might actually turn Ascension into a buy just because of that. <laughs> yeah, no, it turns it into a buy for me too, just because I don't own the previous three. But I mean, if you just want to, Ascension alone is so buy Ascension. Don't ever play it. Play yes, that, that's pretty much what we're saying. <laughs> buy Ascension for the previous ones because those ones are good. Yeah. Um, definitely play. Def, def, definitely play one if you're going to play any of them. Two and three are okay. It gets a little messy, but as far as a standalone, I highly, highly recommend one. Yeah, and also goes with the PSP one. So like I said, it's a it's a good deal. Because otherwise Ascension is, yeah, not worth nearly as much as they want for it. So, thanks for listening. Next week is going to be uh, Gears of War Judgment for the 360. Uh, like I said, we'll be back for that one. Make sure to leave a comment below for some entries into our uh, Injustice giveaway. Uh, subscribe to our channel above if you want to make sure you get all our updates. Uh, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, our website at uh, rulo3.com to get uh, the updates on uh, reviews as well as... Uh, news articles that we post every now and then if we find something interesting. 
And thanks for listening, and always remember to trust in the rule of three. I will not indulge you as my sister. He bears a mark like I have never seen. He is the one! He will free us from the Fury's